Welcome to the second episode of my intermediate tutorial series after my tutorial series for complete beginners which you can find up there. If you haven't watched the previous part of the series, make sure to check it out to see how we ended up with a basic cake without the chocolate coating and the cream. Ok, let's start. Let's break down the coating. As you see, it fits our cake because we separated the object from the base mesh. Nice. Looks alright. I will add the solidify modifier to make it thick. Bring the solidify to the top so it will be there before the subdivision. It's needed so the subdivision smooths it out. For some reason our mesh has a weird thing going on here that we need to adjust. There is no problem with our mesh, no overlapping edges, so excluding everything else we can say with confidence that Solidify modifier introduces the problem. We need to adjust the Solidify modifier as it seems like nothing else has a problem. It's time to create a displacement texture for the chocolate. The cake top should be less bumpy so I'm trying to create smoother edges. This includes setting up the displace modifier. We don't want to change the displace modifier texture for all objects. So click here on the number to create local data. With this we added a new texture that looks the same as all the other textures that previously shared this data but now if we change this the other object textures won't change. I'm adding a new texture from directly the modifier stack to this displace modifier. This is the same as if I added it from the texture tab. But now I will see from the name which one to set up. If you change other textures, don't forget to make the data local. No, I am trying to fix the issues so there won't be overlapping edges. This includes fiddling with the parameters for the solidify and the displace modifiers. Here I am trying to adjust things a little bit. I can't say how to adjust it as it will probably be different for you unless you copied everything I did but it is really not required. Don't forget to either you have to change the solidify parameters or isolate which displacement texture is messing up things or creating overlapping edges and adjust the strength and stuff like that as I did before and doing now. Notice that I'm using the new texture.004 texture twice in the displacement modifier stack. Now I'm applying all the modifiers. As I applied everything, it's time to jump into edit mode, turn on proportional editing mode, and grab random vertices here and drag them down to create the chocolate drip coating. As the chocolate drip effect is complete, it's time to add the subdivisions and the modifier to soften the blocky drip shapes. Now let's adjust the dripping and it's all set and done.
The final thing for the base model for cake is simple. Press Shift D on the plane up there that doesn't have the coating side too to duplicate it. It's not necessary, but in case we need to reset the object, it's good to have a floating plane up there too. Now bring it down, it's gonna be the cream. It's gonna stick outside, so resize it, and by resizing I mean make it bigger and fit it into the cake nicely. This has our basic cloud texture that we used in the beginning, but it's not just that. We will click on this button to make the data local, so when we adjust the texture, the other objects won't change. This also means that we can swap any textures between these slots, and as always, we can swap the textures at the modifier step to at our displace modifier. I'm changing the noise basis to Voronoi, and actually that doesn't look too bad. I'm adding a new texture on our modifier, remember you can do the same at the texture tab. I'm adding a mass grave variation to the texture instead of the clouds. I'm trying to set this up to make it look nice. Quickly add the solidify modifier which uh, should be always on top so the subdivision makes the edges smoother. Well, um, okay I guess, that looks totally normal. That looks normal too. That looks awesome, isn't it? Okay, it seems horrible. For this to be fixed, we have to get back to the solidify modifier and tone down the thickness. This isn't creamy enough, but if I change the textures too much, it's gonna be terrible. I will try a different texture pattern. I will use clouds in the end. Wow, that looks beautiful. This is a glitch because something is not okay up here. I clicked on flip normals and I'm setting a positive value on the displace modifier which should make everything more clean and good. I'm being clear to look at and understand because we don't have negative values anymore. Now more trial and error for the texture. I'm looking for a nice boost but sort of a bubbly look because that's how a cream will look like. I'm bringing up the thickness because I need more of that yummy cream. You should too because cream is good for your health. No, I'm doing more setting up, I'm spinning up the video. What to look for to make the cream nice besides what I told you is that always remember you can try to adjust the thickness of the solidify modifier and changing the displacement while you between negative and positive and to feel free to try different adjustments for your scene because you don't need it to be 100% like mine, you may make it even better than this. And this is done for the top and the coating. That's it for today's episode. If you found this tutorial good, make sure to subscribe and press on the little bell icon so you won't miss out the next episodes of the series. Did you know that I'm a CG trader? And did you know I give out free models there as well as I'm making premium ones? If you want to support me, feel free to buy some of my premium models so I can eat a hamburger, maybe a blender burger. See you guys until the next episode.